All right, and um, we move to some crazy weather, a powerful, destructive typhoon ripping through the Philippines with winds topping 150 miles per hour. It's leaving half a million people in evacuation centers and one person dead. Our Becky Perlow is on the ground in the Philippines with more. Becky? Good morning, Kimberly. We are here in the Philippines where a powerful typhoon has just ripped through the coastal town of Legazpi. And I just want to show you a little bit of what happened to our hotel last night. Around midnight, 11 p.m., midnight, right before the eye of the storm hit us in Legazpi, this window in our hotel came flying out, sending uh, typhoon winds flooding into our hallway. We had ceiling panels coming down. We had electrical fixtures swinging from the ceilings. People who were poking their heads out of their hallway were getting met with uh, flying ceiling panels hurtling down that hallway. Um, that, that window that uh, came out earlier today, if you look over here, you'll see uh, we have quite a bit of glass that came shattering when that came, when that came down. Now, um, the typhoon known locally as Typhoon Tsoi, damaging homes, toppling trees, flooding streets, leaving many without shelter in the middle of the night. Weather reports say sustained winds reach those 96 miles per hour in gusts of up to 118 miles per hour. In our hotel room, many of the guests were local residents who, having seen typhoons pummel their homes in the past, fled to higher ground and thought they'd be safe in a hotel room that is situated on the hill here. A lot of people came here because they thought that this hotel room would keep them safer. But we were actually evacuated from our rooms in the middle of the night after that large window blew out on the top floor. Those strong winds were sending ceiling panels down the hallway, like I told you, and families were forced to uh, sleep on makeshift beds rather than brave their flooded hotel rooms. Now, the residents of this community are venturing outside today for the first time to survey the damage and see what they can save of their property and their livestock. I will tell you, we spoke to multiple evacuees who told us that despite facing about 20 storms and typhoons a year, these people are saying that this is perhaps one of the worst storms they've seen in recent memories. Um, but the Filipinos are resilient, and they tell me that they are going to rebuild. Kimberly? Unbelievable, because definitely a scary situation there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.